Yeah, now introduction to network. As I told you already, what do you think of networking? I already asked you and you told me the answer. I explained you. So this is what a interconnection between the devices which can be able to communicate. Now this is my device. I want to communicate with this device. How can I do it? When I can do only when they are in network and only when they are able to communicate. That is the network. Simple definition. Okay. In the earlier days, yeah. If you are considering, in the earlier days, if you want to communicate, it was the at that time around in 1990s and 2000s. 2000s technology was not this fast at that time if for the first thing this is my one of my office branch and this is one of my office branch and if i want to communicate if i want to communicate my uh, details from here to here what would i do i just need to, first i need to have an modem okay that which inter that which again connects to the telephone company now we are having ISPs, Internet Service Providers, as a complete separate platform. But at the in the earlier days of networking, we used to have telephone companies who, along with the, along with these phone services, they used to provide this internet service also. Okay, but today we are having separate platforms for ISP. So at that time, if I want to make my branches make communicate, I used to, uh, I have to attend any course. I use, I need to have the connection with the telephone company. Well, they, they in turn used to provide me the ISP internet connection, which makes my life easy to communicate with my either of the branches. See, computers connected point to point via modems. See, basically, if you want to make devices communicate, I want this PC to communicate it to with this PC. I can have three modes. One is a simplex, one is half duplex, and the other is duplex. Okay. If you are considering simplex, it is just one side communication. In the sense, see, only this PC can send the message to this PC. That's it. This intent cannot send the message. Only receive. Only one, only one way. You know what to mean by one way? Yeah. That's it. It is very. It, this is very similar to the one way. Okay. And if you are considering half duplex, my PC one can send data to PC two, and PC two in turn can send data to PC one. But when PC one is now sending the data to PC two, now the PC two must just listen. Once the PC one is done with its communication. Then PC2 will send the data. It is a, either the way the communication is possible, but only one at a time. Simultaneously, the both the way communication is not possible. And if you consider it duplex, it's it, it is completely different from these two. This fellow he can speak to PC2 at a time, and this device it is intelligent, he can listen at the time. Can listen and it can also reply back at the same time both the ways either the ways the communication is possible in the two way at a time okay and yeah types of communication yeah again types of communication also you have a uh, Three more three types. One is unicast, broadcast, and multicast. Do you have any idea of unicast? Yes, only one. If I want to send, see for suppose this this is my PC, which is in turn connected to switch, and this is connected to four more three more PCs. Okay. What is unicast? This is this is one two. Three and four. Okay. PC one. A user on PC one. Okay. He's a boy. Name him 
as uh, John. Okay, and there is a user here. She is a girl. She is a girl. Tell one name. A female name. Mary. Mary. Yeah. Mary. Okay. Now John wants to communicate with Mary. Will that message? Uh, he sent the message. Okay. Will that message will go to all the all the users in the network? No, because it is personal. He's saying, "I love you." Will it go to all the pieces? It will be very bad if it goes to all the all the people. He he just want he just wanted to tell this new this message, or he just want to send this message only to Mary. At that time, the, he 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 should send the message as unicast. So the unicast is simple. Only the communication between one to one. Okay. I, if I want to send one some personal message from my side to you, I will send a unicast, but I will not send any broadcast or multicast because broadcast and multicast. In that, what happens is, once I send out the message, it will be delivered to a group of people. But that is then when it went to the group of people, it's not my personal; it will be public. But if I want to send my personal message, I will you ultimately I will send a unicast message, right? Yeah. Now the same John and Mary, Mary, right? John and Mary, they committed and they now want to marry. Now they want to send their invitation as a message. What will they do? They cannot send that to everyone in the network. They 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 particularly choose that he is my friend. I will send to him. He is my friend. I will send to him. He is my friend. I will send to him. Okay, suppose in this example, John and Mary collectively they want to send the message to only the four and five, four and three. At this time, it will be the multicast. The message is sent from John. Okay, it will be going to only four and five, but not everyone in the network. Multicast is multicast is. Uh, communication between one person to a selected group, not to everyone in the network, to only a selected group. Then it is a multicast. Okay. Then what is broadcast? Broadcast is once you are sending out the message, it will be public. It may be going to anywhere in the world. It is a broadcast. Okay. In the network, if we consider. This is my router. For time being, we'll think we'll read on it. But for time thing, for time being, just think this is a device router. Okay. Okay. It just want to know whether all the devices in the network working fine or not. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, so you got a message. You you got what is unicast. It's only from one to one. One fellow wants to one fellow wants to communicate with other people. A personal message. Then it will be a unicast. And if you consider multicast. See, I'll tell you a small example. For example, take WhatsApp. You want to send a one personal message in the WhatsApp. You will send to only the particular person who whom you want to send it. It is a unicast. Okay. And if you, now you want to send a message, some important message to a group of people. Okay. Then you will send it in the group. You have a groups in the WhatsApp, right? You send it to the group. It will be the multi. Why it is multicast? Because you are not sending to everyone in your contacts list. You are just sending to a specific group whom you wanted to send it. Then it is a multicast. Okay, broadcast is very simple. Uh, I think you are seeing 
news now at present news 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 you are seeing a news channel and whatever you are able to see on the tv it is broadcasted because there is no limit that only these people needs only these people should see this it's not it, it is not it, there is no limit for that message once once they thought that this must this must be seen by everyone then only they will telecast it on the tv channel it is a broadcast because there is no limitation everyone can see it that is broadcast okay